Hey, welcome back. The International Leadership Charter High School implements an academically rigorous college preparatory curriculum that's elevating students' intellectual capacity and providing a superior high school education to prepare scholars for that higher education. Join me now. We've got the International Leadership Charter High School's director, parent, and school, uh, school let's say it again, parent and school community engagement, Elise Gonzalez, and also the director of operations, Desiree Grand, and uh, thank you so much for sharing with us. And, uh, thank you for having me. That. That's a whole lot in one title. You got me. Yes. That means a lot of responsibility, too. <laughs> yes. Well, tell me this, because you guys are also the first, I know, um, public charter high school, right? Yes. Um, that, that's in the Bronx. And so how does that set you aside from everybody else? I believe that what makes us different is it's like you said, we are the first charter high school in the Bronx that provides the, the, the community mm -hmm. to the, the best opportunity to have options as a parent. Like for example, when they, we opened in the school in 2006, um, we gave it that opportunity to parents the option because at that time they don't have an option. Mm -hmm. Me as a parent, I don't have an option at that time because my daughter also graduated from the, our school. So she was the first cohort in our school. So I received that opportunity along of other 88 parents who also enrolled the children in our school at that time. That's beautiful. So when we talk about curriculum, right, what is the curriculum like for students who actually attend the school? Sure, so we are a college prep um, high school and we're preparing our students to attend college. We have a 100% graduation rate, all of our students apply and go to the college of their choice. So the curriculum is set up to prepare them. In ninth and 10th grade, they take the basic requirements that they need for their regions. And then 11th and 12th grade, they are focused on college-based curriculum. Now I need to focus it on this because I understand something that's very special. You have a 100% college enrollment rate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> that's awesome. As today, 100% of our seniors receive college acceptance letter. Really? Yes. So what is the secret sauce? I mean, come on now, because you guys are really doing it in the world. What do, you, what do you think is the secret sauce here? I believe that we have different ingredients mm -hmm. that we pull it together with this wonderful formula that is working for us and for the community for 18 years. Okay. Well, and for you, what do you, how do you feel? <laughs> Yeah, the same. Um, you know, we just do, there's two things, right? There's the academics that we are very, a very rigorous curriculum mm. and we hold the students to a very high standard. Uh, but we also have a very small community feel. Um, we know all the students individually, their families, like just like how you were having your own experience going to college in your home. It's, you have to go to college. Your grandmother, your aunts, your uncles are telling you that that's the way all the staff feels. The faculty, the operational staff, we're all rooting for our students. Yeah. Also to add, when we enroll the student, the student in our school, they don't have other options. So we put it in their mind as soon as the parents enroll the child in the school that they go to college. Right. So everything around the school, our day is start with college and end in college. So everything is about college career, explore option, and prepare the students for the, for the college that they want to attend. And so as you look at your students right now, you gotta be happy, 100% get you know the college acceptance but when we talk about curriculum we know the curriculum is very rigorous at the same time so for a student that's coming or a parent that's trying to send a student to a school such as yours what can they expect mm -hmm. so like i said we have very high standards we have an extended day we start at 7 30 end at 4 30 we also do tutoring after school that's till 5 30 we implement a sad day academy mm -hmm. so some of the students may not like hearing all of that but that's the way we make sure that our students are prepared for the real world and um we have rigorous standards not just in academics but also in character building leadership skills mm -hmm. um we want to impart our scholars with the skills that they need to function in the real world right, because you do you don't just offer you know classes in a curriculum you also offer students an opportunity to serve yes. correct so talk about that serving and how people have the opportunity to students I should say have the opportunity to serve and how your school is you know a little different in this area 
Yes, I believe that a lot of things make us different. I always said to the parents when they enroll the child in the school that what a family oriented school. It's an extended family. When the, when the each student is very important for us, is unique for us, along with the family. So we not only enroll the child, we enroll the entire family. And we keep connecting every single day. So we explore all aspects of the students and any way that we can serve the student and the family and connect the student and the family with the, or the right resources that they need to be successful in life. Mm -hmm. So for a parent out there saying, listen, I want to get my child connected. This is great. I'm seeing the success rate, people going to college, um, and the atmosphere is really special. How do they go about connecting um, with your school? So right now, we are accepting application for the 6th, 7th, 9th, and 10th grade. We have a big amount of application already, but the application system is, free, is here, is ready. We have a, they can apply through the Common App. They can go straight to our website. They can apply, or they just can pass by the school and call me and call the school and set up an appointment. I have an open house every Wednesday. Uh, we everywhere. Right. We have a thousand of applications already. Our lottery is in April fifth, but we welcome all the families to apply to our wonderful schools. And Desiree, I know that um, you know there's some breaking news here because you also have a school in Montefiore. Yes, so we are really excited about the middle school. So that is something that our uh, the CEO and founder, Dr. Elaine Ruiz Lopez, really wanted to create. So we're basically creating the first school for students to go into and then get automatic acceptance into the high school. So we're gonna have sixth, seventh, and eighth grade there, and then the high school grades nine through 12. So currently we have a sixth grade, next year we'll have a seventh grade, the following year will be fully grown at eighth grade. We're super excited, it's a STEM-based curriculum. Um, the students take what they learn there and get automatic enrollment into the high school, so they're able to have that full, you know, um, experience of at the International Leadership Charter Schools. Yeah. And so for yourselves, obviously, you know, I, I do this a lot, right? And I know when people are just like, I'm here for my job. But the reality is, is there's something special about what you feel. I can sense that the both of you feel something special about your school. What is it? I believe that we're so passionate about what we're doing. This is our community. It's our future. And I always said to the families, we're planting seeds that is going to grow in our community. And they come back to our community. Uh, we have a few of our alumni that are actually working in our school. Mm -hmm. so, this our social work graduated from our school. We have another uh, member of uh, our students who graduated in operation team. We also have in the past teachers. So it's like you planting, you growing, and then you come back to our community. Mm -hmm. And this is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So, Desiree, as we're here in March, I mean, we're getting towards the end of the school year. What can we expect uh, and what are students expecting right about now? So, right now, our seniors are waiting for their official acceptance letter. Mm -hmm. They receive unofficial notification. We do a great celebration for them. We do a decision day breakfast. Um, they come wearing all the swag from the school that they chose. Um, all the other grades cheer them and we do like all this noise in the, in the hallways <laughs> really? and celebrate them. Yes. Um, because for a ninth grader, that's going to be them in the future. So we mm. want to let them know that's the same expectation we have for them and that's the same celebration we're going to do for them. That's awesome. That's awesome. So there's still time for people to, if they want to get enrolled. Of course. Oh, yes. Yes. Because yes, we're accepting applications for September uh, 2024. Yeah. What is it that sticks out the most about your school? I mean, obviously, you got a lot of great things happening, but for you, what is it that sticks out the most, Elise? I believe that uh, what, what makes us very special also, this is it's a safe school. Mm -hmm. Parents feel safe when they go to work. They are in peace that their child is in the place that we're caring, that they're safe, and nothing is going to happen just to learn and get a good education. You know, we have our own building, which is good about our school, and that is distinguished us also. Because other schools, they're sharing a space, so that made the school not that safe. Our school, we have our own building, we have three floors. We divide the floors by gray, so the students do not interact with other gray. Everything is very organized. The students go class by class in line. We have uniform policy. You know, we have visitors there that go to our school and say, hey, this is a school? It's no noise, it's no distraction, it is atmosphere to learn. That's what we provide to our students. Deion Sanders has a saying, he says, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm just going to check y'all out. I really am. Thank you so much. I really yes. appreciate you coming and sharing. I think that 
You know, uh, so many times when we talk about education, we talk about what's wrong, right? And you guys have really been a great yes. example of really what's going right. And to see 100% college acceptance rate, that's something we're talking about. That's and wonderful. I'm glad to have you guys here with us. Yes, thank, thank you. you so I just want to say, to conclude, I want to share the quote for our CEO and our school founder, Dr. Elaine Ruiz Lopez, we change lives and transform communities one scholar at a time. That's what we do well, at the International Leadership Charter High School. Thank you so much. I You're appreciate welcome. that. Elise, thank you. That's right. Glad <laughs> thank you for having us. us. All right. Thank you. Well, listen, I want you to know if you want more information, go ahead and visit the website, ilchs.org, and then follow them on Instagram at International Leadership CHS. We encourage you, don't go anywhere. We're coming back with more open right after this.